Yoga Club. Hello, welcome to Yoga Club. We're going to make the best of a rainy day and shower ourselves with the fun of yoga and mindfulness. Not only is Yoga Club a great thing to do on a rainy day, so is Yoga Quest. That's where you take your yoga to the next level. I know so many of you have completed your yoga quests and I am so massively proud of you. For those that want to know more about it, and I know Zoe and her sister Mia from South Africa have asked, thank you for the question girls. Yoga Quest is where you get five very cool maps which you can print out at home and each one is a different world like Sharks Bay, Rumbly Jungle and Party Town. Then in each map are a number of yoga adventures for you to do. Now when you get to the end and you've completed all the maps you get a certificate. You can get your maps from cosmickids.com forward slash yoga quest or if you're on the Cosmic Kids app, you can download them right there. Now I have some wonderful messages to read out and some shout outs to do. So hello to Maddie, aged six in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. And hello to Holland, aged three, and brother Wyeth, aged two, who've been joining in for yoga every Sunday morning. So exciting to hear about your move from the US to Munich in Germany and how much you enjoy. Hi, my name's Joe. Yes, the Stormtrooper helmet was lots of fun to wear. It's great hearing about the poses you like doing and I love your idea, Holland, for Triceratops pose. I love the picture too. I'd like to do some more dinosaur themed yoga so this will be very handy. It was great to see your picture and your fabulous video of you both doing wisha washa washing machines, which I hear you like doing at the breakfast table. Very good. Thanks to Jacob for writing in and telling me all about Holland and Wyeth. A big shout out to Ella Rose Oriel. What a gorgeous name, who is two and she does yoga every day and especially likes doing telephone pose using her foot phone. I'm so glad to hear that the yoga has been helping and keeping everyone nice and happy. It's so good to hear that the yoga has been helping you, Eli. If it's making you feel good, strong and generally better, it's doing its job. Hello and happy birthday for the 1st of February to Soraya, who just turned four. Now I'm not a cartoon after all, Soraya, and I love your ideas about My Little Pony, Over the Moon and Love Monster. I need to have a look at those. Thanks to Reza, Soraya's dad, for writing and for the lovely video of you following along to Enzo the Bee. What a lovely adventure that is. I love that story. Lovely Olivia, thank you for your message and for the idea of doing a Lalacorn adventure. What a cool thing to cross a llama with a unicorn. You all have such great ideas. Honestly, I definitely felt all the love from your message, Olivia, and your sixth birthday in August will be here soon. Time will fly. Thanks to Team Tiggy and love to your little boy. I will see if we can do some more adapted yoga that will work better. I was even thinking about doing some audio yoga routines so the instruction would be super easy to follow and maybe interesting for you to try. I'll see what I can do. Lovely to hear from Emily and William. It's so good to hear which videos you enjoy and which are helping you the most. Maybe you could check out the Super Mario adventure on the Cosmic Kids app. If you like Mario Kart, William, you'll like that. Hello to Aya, aged three, and Ash, aged one, whose lovely mummy, Amy, wrote to me. They're in Toronto, Canada. I'm so glad the yoga has been a help and Aya has been enjoying teaching her grandpa the moves. What a cool thing that is, such a joy. Thanks to Aria who's nine from India and loves trains. So would like to see a train yoga club and a Thomas and Friends yoga adventure. 
that's definitely on my list thank you for that aria hello and happy birthday to jonah who turned five on february the 12th it sounds like you're in a very beautiful mountainous part of france and i hope you've been enjoying all the snow it's wonderful to hear that the yoga has been helping over the past year and especially the pirate themed videos Arr. thanks to laura for writing in on jonah's behalf it was lovely as well to get a message from Caitlin and Mum Nicolette, also in Toronto, Canada. I love the sound of your stuffy bunny, Misty, and it sounds like you are very active with all your wonderful dance classes. And do you know, yes, our next yoga club is themed around dance. And I'm planning on doing the Nutcracker for a new yoga adventure, especially for Christmas, which I think you might enjoy if you like your ballet. Thank you for writing in. And congratulations for completing your yoga quest. <laughs> Hannah, who is seven, has also just started her yoga quest and wrote in to suggest Rocketeer from Disney Plus as an idea for a yoga adventure. I really like the sound of that Hannah, what a cool story. You and your sister Evie look awesome in your gymnastic outfits and I'm very glad to hear that the yoga is helping both of you. Thanks to Karia and Shayna who loved the Valentine's Yoga Club. Yeah, it was a good one, wasn't it? And they suggested yoga adventures about Rapunzel and a panda and bamboo. Nice ideas. Yes, Beauty and the Beast will be coming soon, I promise. Hello to Ruhi, Ruhi who is nine, soon to be ten in March sometime. Happy birthday, Ruhi. I'm so glad your mum got you the Cosmic Kids app. Yes, as I said, Beauty and the Beast is just being finished now. So it will be out in the next couple of months, hopefully, fingers crossed. And I am working on more superhero kids yoga in space. So they'll be coming soon too. Please tell Kian and say hi to him from me. Uh, and hello to Arthur Crowley, who is turning nine on February the 28th. Happy birthday, Arthur. I love how much you enjoy the Zen Dens and Super Yogas and that you enjoy our yoga clubs too. We make the Super Yoga using a big green space and Conrad, who is the very clever man who films it, builds the game world of Super Yoga in the computer afterwards. It's super cool. Hello to your mum, Kelly, too. It was wonderful to get a picture of you with such a big, lovely smile and your gorgeous handwritten letter. Thank you so much. Please keep your messages coming to me at yoga club at cosmickids.com. And now let's put away those umbrellas and celebrate a rainy day with some brilliant fun, yoga and mindfulness. Woohoo! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms and crossing our legs. And we bring our hands together at our hearts and say our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So, let's find out what our story's about today. We look through the cosmonoculars. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, hold them over your eyes and have a look through. <gasps> wow. Look at those shapes and those colours. That's amazing. It's so pretty. Now, can you see that? Can you see the picture? It's a beaver. It's Babs the beaver. What's Babs doing? Ooh, she's doing yoga. She's doing door pose. This is so exciting. We're going to the mountains today to go and visit Babs. Let's start by making ourselves a sandwich for a snack. We take our legs out long and we butter our bread. Ready? Hands to your waist. Let's go. Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Bit more. 
Bata, bata, bata. Tiny bit more. Bata, bata, bata. That's probably enough butter now. Take your arms out wide. Let's put some things in our sandwich that Babs will like. We twist around and we get some seeds. Mmm. Get the seeds and shake them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Take your arms out wide again and twist the other way. And let's get some berries. Mmm, we love berries. We take the berries and plop them in. Plop, 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 plop. We lift up our arms and bending our knees a little bit, we put our top slice of bread on our sandwich. Ooh. Done. We cross our legs and we roll our shoulders to get ready for our backpack. Roll your shoulders round and round. Lift them up and put them down. Lift up one, lift up two, put down one, put down two. Going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Faster, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Well done, everyone. Now, we should bring the sunshine out, shouldn't we? So we stand up, we reach up to the sun, and we say to the sun, Hello, sun! We fold all the way forwards, and we say hello to the earth. Hello, earth! We take one foot back behind us, all the way back, and we start our logging truck with a beep, beep. We take our other leg back and come onto our tummies and wiggle around like a hissy snake. Ready? We tuck our toes, lift our bottoms to the sky and do a happy woof. Woof, 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 woof. We reach our tail to the air and wag it around. And we step between our hands again, making our beep beep again. Beep, beep. We step forward again. And we say hello to the earth. Hello, earth. And we reach up to the sun to say hello, sun. We catch a train, bringing your arms down by your sides. We pull the horn. Toot, toot. Then off we go. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go. Faster and faster and faster we go. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go. Until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. Toot, toot. We've arrived at the mountains. Mountain pose. Taking your arms down by your sides. We stand as still and immovable as mountains. They are so strong, so beautiful. Well done, everyone. You're amazing, mountains. We take some big mountain breaths, crisscrossing our fingers underneath our chin. We take a big breath all the way in. Big breath out. Now we snowboard down this mountain to go and find Babs. We take one foot back forwards and one foot backwards and we bend our knee. We extend our arms and we whoosh down the mountain. Ready? Whoosh! We jump our feet the other way. Boing! And we whoosh the other way too. Whoosh! At the bottom of the mountain, we find a river and there's a little boat waiting for us. Sitting on our bottoms, we lift up one foot, two feet, one hand, no hands, and give me a wave. Yay! We row this little boat down the river. Take your legs out long, hold onto your oar, and let's sing our little row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone. Let's answer the phone, everyone. Holding your phone to your ear. Hello? It's Babs the Beaver. Hi, Babs. Yeah? No, we're coming soon. You're building a playground. We love playgrounds. Yep, yeah, we're good workers. We're good workers, aren't we, everyone? Yes. 
Yep, we'll be ready to work hard. Yep, see you in a minute. Bye! We put the phone down. <gasps> this is exciting. We're going to help Babs build a playground. We'd better get there quick. Let's row with the other oar. Ready? Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone again. Let's answer this one. Hello? Oh, it's Babs again. Sorry, Babs. A slide? Yes, we'd love to help you build a slide. We'll be there in a minute. Yep. Bye. We put the phone down and we reach the banks of the river where Babs is waiting for us. Yay! Coming up onto your knees, everyone. We open our arms and give her a great big hug. Oh, Babs, it's so good to see you. Well, it's very good to see you, but we need to get up the mountain very, very fast because I need to get some trees to make our slide. Come on, chop, chop, hip, hip. We stand up and we take big steps up the mountain with Babs. We step forward, big step. And again, big step. And up the mountain we find woodland, which is full of trees, standing with one foot on top of the other. We bring our hands to our heart. We grow our tree up tall. Now Babs needs to make sure that she picks the sturdiest tree. So I'm going to do a tree test. I'm going to check whether I can blow you trees down. You stay tall and strong and I'll have a go. Ready? Doopie doopie doo. <laughs> oh, you are really strong trees today. Let's try the other side. Putting your other foot on top now, using your heel, bring your hands together at your heart and grow your tree up tall. Oh, try not to wobble. Oh, 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 oh. Babs has chosen the tree and she needs to chop it down. Take your legs wide and crisscross your fingers behind your back. She folds all the way forward and chops. One, two, three, chop! And all the way back up again and again. One, two, three, chop! Standing up tall, everyone. The tree falls down. Timber! Babs has done it. Now, everyone, we need to carry this tree on our heads all the way back down the bottom of the mountain. Here we go. On your head, let's go. Trotting down the mountain. Wow, Babs is a strong beaver. She is determined. She's going to make this slide very, very nicely but there are lots of rocks and boulders in the way and she uses her big, blunt nose to boff them out of the way. Coming all the way down onto your knees, sit all the way back, reach your arms forward. Then using your big, blunt nose, she goes boff and back and again boff and back. Last time, boff and back to boff all of those boulders out of the way. Well done, Babs. When she gets down to the bottom of the mountain, she uses her big teeth to nibble out the middle. Coming onto all fours, bending down. She makes it into a slide shape. Then she uses her big webbed feet, sitting on your bottoms. Stretch your feet out. And she uses those big feet to scoop the snow into the slide to make it super duper slippy. It's nearly ready. It's taking its slide shape. Stretching your legs out long. Take your hands behind you and point your toes. Then lift your hips all the way up, making a slide shape. Yay! Babs needs to put it in the water now to make it into a water slide. Coming onto your bellies, everyone. She swims with her head above the water and she checks that it's all in place using her paddle tail to swim. Very clever. It's ready for a test. Shall we try? Yes, come on then. We stand up and we climb to get really high. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Oh, it's really high up here 
Now, how are we going to get down this slide? Hmm. Shall we go down on our tummies? No, too scary. How about on our heads? No. That's a silly idea, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go on our bottoms. We sit down, put our legs out long and our arms out and we go down the slide. Ready? Whee! Wow, that was fun. Now all of the other little animals come to have a go. There's such a big community of them. There's Motty, the fish. Stretching your legs out long, come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest to the sky, looking up to the ceiling and all the way back behind you, like a fish. Motty, the fish, goes down the slide. Whee! He loves the water slide. Then comes up down the rabbit, hopping away up the ladder. Hands down, tuck your toes and a little hop. Hoppity hoppity hop. And again, hoppity hoppity hop. Last time, hoppity hoppity hop. Up down goes down like a little tumbly bunny, hugging your knees, tuck your chin in and squash a tomato underneath your chin. All the way back, whoop, and all the way forwards, whee! And again, all the way back, whee! All the way forwards and splodooshes into the water. Next comes Clive, the river crab. He does a couple of digger diggers just to get himself ready. Coming all the way up with your hips. Let's go that way first, ready? Digger, 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 digger. And the other way, digger, 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 digger. Then he gets himself into position, holding on to his claws. Lying back, he holds on to one, he holds on to two, and down he goes. Whee! Splodoosh! All of these animals are having such fun. But uh-oh, there are lots of other scary animals that seem to have spotted them and think, hmm, I'd quite like to eat one of those for my lunch. A crocodile slips into the water. Slinky and long, opening and closing his jaws. Oh! A mountain lion comes prowling through the forest, coming up onto all fours, everyone. Reach forward with one claw, two claws, three claws, and four claws. Now, can you do a forward and a backwards claw? Ah, yes, he does a big growl and shows everyone his tongue. Ready? Lion pose after three. One, two, three. Ah. And then there's a big bad wolf prowling too. Hands down, tuck your toes and come up into a dog-like shape, like a wolf licking his lips. Mmm. Perhaps the beaver sees the danger and knows that she needs to warn the little animals to hide. She slips into the water and she uses her paddle tail to whap down on the surface of the water, making the hugest bang. One, two, three, bang! All of the animals hear the sound and know they need to hide. They tuck themselves up into tiny little mouse balls. The big animals have no idea what that noise was and are terrified. So they scarper. <laughs> Phew! Thank goodness for Babs. We all go back to Babs's lodge, standing up, legs wide, arms above your head, and we eat our sandwich and have a lovely cup of hot chocolate. We sit down and we rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Mmm, it's nice to feel all safe and warm again. And it was such fun on the slide. We get a lift home with a logging truck. We sit with our legs out long and start the engine. We lie back in our logging truck and let the logging man drive for a while. We have a nice bit of time just to relax. 
to get all comfy and cosy on our journey home. We think about our fantastic adventure with Babs the Beaver. How strong and determined she is. We can do anything we like. And if we put our minds to it, and we are strong and determined like Babs is, we will always do a good job. It's so inspiring to meet someone like Babs, who does such amazing things for her community. That's so lovely of her to have built a playground for everyone else to enjoy. Well done, Babs. We love you. We take some slow breaths here. Mm. Just relaxing and enjoying this peace. That mountain air has made us really sleepy. But it's time for us to come back again. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We hug our knees into our chest and roll over onto our sides. Ah, oh, we come up to sitting with our legs crossed and bring our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Well done for being such a good worker, so determined and strong, just like Babs. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Everyone. Today we get warm and ready for anything with a hello to the sun. Come to stand with your feet hip distance apart, then reach up to the sun, wave at the sky and say hello sun, hello sun. Then we turn to the side and we fold all the way forwards, bending our knees a little bit as we go so that we can touch the floor and say hello to the earth. Hello, Earth. Then we step one foot all the way back behind us, coming up high on our fingertips like tents. And we start our engines with a beep, beep. Yes. We flatten our hands down and step our other foot back, coming into our plank pose with a nice strong tummy. Then we lower all the way down to our knees and all the way down onto our chest untucking our toes. We curl our shoulders round, peel our chest off the ground and we hiss like hissy snakes. Then we tuck our toes, come up onto our knees and press our hips up to the sky, coming down onto our heels, pressing into our hands to woof like happy little dogs. Woof, woof. We lift up one of our legs behind us and we wag it like a happy tail. Then we put it between our hands again, coming up high onto our tippy tippy tip fingers. Then we say beep, beep, yay. We step our other foot forwards, bringing our feet together and we wave at the earth saying, hello earth. We stretch on up to the sky to say hello to the sun. Hello, sun, lowering our arms back to the side. Now, let's do that on the other side. Reach on up to the sun and say hello to the sun. Hello, sun, turn to the side, fold all the way forwards, bending our knees to say hello to the earth. Hello, earth. This time we step back with the other leg, staying high up on our fingers and we say, Beep, beep, yay. We flatten our hands down, step our other leg back and come high into our plank pose, nice and strong, like the top of a push-up. 
Lowering down onto your knees. Lower your chest all the way down to the ground. Untuck your toes, curl your shoulders back and lift your chest. And we hiss like a snake. We curl our toes under again, press up onto our knees and then press our hips up into the sky, lowering our heels down if we can as well to woof like a happy dog. Woof, 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 woof. We lift our other leg up to the sky and wag it like a tail. Then we put it between our hands, coming high up onto our fingertips again and we start our engines with a beep, beep. Well done. We step our other foot forward, bring our feet together and we wave to the earth. Hello earth. Then we stretch on up to the sky, turning to the front to wave at the sun and say, hello sun. We lower our arms back to our sides and we stand feeling warm and ready for anything. Have a great day. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Ah! Hot air balloon pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms and crossing our legs. We cup our hands around our mouth and we do a big blow to blow up our hot air balloon. Here we go, big breath in and blow. Letting your arms come up as your balloon grows bigger. Keep blowing. And when your balloon gets as big as it can be, we rock a little bit from side to side, like we're floating up into the air. Wow, it's beautiful up here. Hot air balloon pose is really good for breathing a lovely bit of calmness into your day and clearing your mind. <gasps> Look at all the beautiful balloons flying together. They're amazing. Calmly floating up into the sky, peacefully. Lovely, calmly. Oops. Hot air balloon. Door pose. Coming down onto two knees, we take our leg to the side. We reach our arm up to the sky and rest our other hand on our long leg. Now we lean over to the side to creak open the door. Here we go. Ooh, it's getting pretty chilly out there. Now door or gate pose is very good for stretching our sides, making more space to breathe, stretching our legs, and it's especially good if we're waking up in the morning. I tell you what, it's also really good if you play sports. Yes. Now it's getting rather chilly in here, so let's close this door and do it on the other side. Coming back to two knees, taking your other leg long now, reaching up with your arm, and let's close this door. Ah, oh, phew, that's better. Now we can have a nice cup of tea to warm up. Oh, thanks. Door pose. Peace out. Cloud story. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. First, make sure that you're super comfy. It's important that you feel settled because when your body relaxes, so does your mind. And then you can imagine all sorts of amazing things really easily. It's like opening a magic door to your dreams. Only you're really awake. But you can go inside 
and have a look. So find a space. Choose whether you want to lie down or sit. Either on the floor with your legs crossed or sitting nice and tall on a chair. The soles of your feet resting flat on the ground and your hands resting in your lap. Decide now which works best for you and get settled. Now, let your body be still. Your eyes are open so you can blink, but they're not looking at anything in particular. Just softly looking ahead. Can you feel your breath moving? Coming in through your nose and then out of your mouth. See if you can just watch it. Coming in through your nose and out of your mouth. That's it. And one more. With this one, as you breathe out, just let your eyelids softly close. Well done. Now all you have to do is listen to my words and enjoy the pictures that appear in your mind. If the pictures aren't happening, it probably means you need to relax just a tiny bit more. So breathe deeply and sink your body down further. Be peaceful and simply listen. Imagine you are lying on your back on the softest green grass. In a garden or a place you know. A park maybe or just a big wide open field. As you lay here you see the huge blue sky above you. In the sky you see lots of fluffy, puffy, white clouds. As you look at the sky, you notice that the clouds are making shapes. Shapes of things that you recognise. There's one, the shape of a rabbit. You can see its ears and the shape of its nose. Another is the shape of a whale with a huge body and a fork-shaped tail. Oh look! A crocodile-shaped cloud and it looks like it's smiling. That one looks like the letter C a ginormous puffy letter C. And that one looks like a house. It has windows, a bubbly shaped roof and a chimney with a wispy bit of cloud making a twist of smoke. Maybe a cloud shaped person lives inside. As the clouds move across the sky, the shapes change. New ones appear. It's like the sky is telling you a story by painting pictures with the clouds. You see the shapes and you can put them together to make a story. What other cloud shapes can you see? Watch. 
Enjoy them. You decide what the shapes remind you of. It feels great to know that you can make cloud shapes here in your mind. And you can see them in real life too. Cloud watching will always help you feel calm, free and thankful that you are here in this beautiful world. There is so much that is beautiful. Even everyday things like clouds that are there all the time. It's time to come back into the space around you. Back into your body again. Start by noticing how your body feels here on the floor or the chair beneath you. How heavy it feels. Now listen and see if you can hear any sounds around you. Ones nearby and others far away. Now take a big deep breath in through your nose and sigh out from your mouth. Have a little stretch. Move a little. Jiggle your fingers, toes, ankles and wrists. And gently open your eyes. Just for a moment, sit back. And notice how you feel after that. Do you feel different to how you did before? Well done for taking a few moments to look after yourself. Your mind and body will now be all the stronger for it. And remember, the sky is always there to remind us to be open to ideas. To believe that anything is possible. I hope you try cloud watching outside in real life one day too. And let the clouds tell you a story. Maybe you can think of the story that came to you today, in the clouds in your mind. You could draw them, or write it down if you like. Your story will be different to everyone else, as only you know what the shapes look like. You are free to make them into whatever you like. I'll see you again soon. This is Jamie saying peace out.